All right, so trying to pack all the camera stuff now, which you guys remember this part of the list. So I've got all this camera gear here that I'm got a couple of tripod, GoPro accessories. Anyway, all kinds of stuff I'm trying to pack. Yeah. And um, just checking out Mike's latest video. He's in India on a houseboat, so I'm trying to I'm trying to keep up with him in the travel. I'm gonna miss this guy for sure, Cooper. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this guy for sure. So all of this to get packed up in as few bags as possible. And then I have to try to sleep early tonight. We're gonna get an early start in the morning. And there we go. Hi baby. So this is my back country backpacking backpack. Um, and I, I always keep my sleeping bag, tent, sleeping pad, uh, jet boil, everything's already ready packed. So in case, uh, I want to go camping or anything, I can just grab this. And so everything's already packed in here. I'm going to bring it anyway in case, you know, the, the perfect storm happens and the weather's nice and everything. And I decide I just want to camp one night. I'll have all of my stuff. Um, got all the camera gear. And then like just GoPro stuff, accessories, uh, extra tripod, um, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, everything fits in these three bags. I'm gonna have my bag for clothes. Um, usually I pack a lot lighter than this, but since I'm driving and I have all the space in the world really in the truck, um, it doesn't hurt to bring a little more. Um, but that's everything, and I packed my clothes last night. Um, now we just need to put everything in the truck in the morning and then head out. It's it's, it's real. It's real. In, uh, in less than 12 hours, I will be on my way, which means um, I should try to sleep a little early tonight so I'm not too tired tomorrow. This is happening. see but it's 2 40 in the morning and my plan was to wake up at 4 to head out and um, at 2 I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep uh, I tried for half an hour to go back to sleep and I decided just if I can't I might as well get up and get on the road and I know eventually I'll you know a few hours, I'll probably, it'll probably catch up to me, and then they'll, I'll pull over and take a nap somewhere. But yeah, I don't know if it was, it's a, if it's a mixture of, like I'm being really excited, and so now I woke up and now it's like Christmas morning. I'm too excited to go back to sleep, um, or the fact that I was packing and then immediately tried to go to bed last night, and um, and I'm just starving right now because uh, I didn't eat dinner. Either way, I'm up, and we're gonna load up the truck. Uh, and head out. <laughs> so, let's go do that. at 3 a.m. First stop, Cortez, Colorado. Immediately, there's a lot of anxiety about leaving. Um, one, and this happens every time I leave on like kind of a solo trip, is what what am I doing? Kind of just the, you know, like, of course there's always the, the, the worry about like, if something goes wrong, like I'm out alone. And also like loneliness, you know? Until I actually get close to Denver, um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I might say 
10 words out loud. It may be this weird thing where talking to the camera knowing that you guys are following this um, is also kind of like having people here with me. Um, this will be obviously the first time I'm doing that. So here we go, it's gonna be a, a long day of driving. Uh, I think Google Maps predicts 15 hours. I'll get there when I get there, so, you know, like kind of those predictions. The predictions. But here we go. All right, so I made it a few hours before I got really tired. Um, so I just took about a 20 minute nap here at uh, Santa Ana, Texas. I'm gonna run inside the gas station, grab a couple snacks, and, uh, and then get back on the road. Four hours down, 11 hours to go. But at least the sun's finally up, so I can actually see where I'm going. <laughs> Not that in this stretch through Texas there's much to see. Uh, here's what I'm, I'm just outside Abilene right now. So other than the fact that it's kind of sunrise, this is, this, this is Texas. Alright, so we're 470 miles into the trip. Uh, to Farwell, New Mexico, Texas. Uh, I'm, I'm 20 yards into New Mexico. The, the border of Texas, New Mexico literally runs in the middle. So just fill it up, but uh, first milestone is down because getting out of Texas. Took a little detour. Uh, it's, it's only about four miles off the road, but supposedly it's the grave of Billy the Kid. sitting in the car all day long um, with the exception of a couple like 20 30 minute naps uh, just been driving the whole day so I'm beat but I'm excited so tomorrow is um, Mesa Verde National Park and then on to Moab but right now I'm just gonna survive this motel and uh, try to get some sleep Ugh. <laughs> 